Welcome back to the Dr. Michael Show. One of the very common finding in cancer sufferers is a low body temperature, or at least a much deregulated distribution of temperature in the body, where fever can actually be viewed as a as the body having the energy that it needs in order to be able to burn off viruses, bugs, and clean up unhealthy tissue. So it is a corrective process of the healthy body. A low body temperature, it can never be viewed as a normal or healthy condition. It just means that the body doesn't have the energy to clean up all these, these junk that needs to be cleaned up on a continual basis. Because the body uses temperature to fight off infection and also to burn off toxic waste. So if you continually run low, you're not gonna be able to do that. A low body temperature actually creates a happy home for viruses and chronic infections. And it is a sign of degeneration and gradual cellular death. So it is, it is a serious issue. You really want to make sure you address that if you're continually burning low. I would consider low and body temperature actually as like the plague of the 21st century. Uh, people with low temperature, they have a weak reaction to even the most, uh, even the, the best medicines and therapies. Uh, as the body's core temperature decreases, all cellular energy also decreases. And the cooperative and collective intelligence of the whole human organism is actually short-circuited as the body temperature then cools down. So as a result, you know, all cellular functions decrease. There's a decrease in the production of all hormones, neurotransmitters, and other body chemicals necessary then for normal, healthy regulation, just because your body temperature drops down. According to prof a professor, his name is uh, Abaturu at uh, Nagata University, uh, he says that our immune, fun uh, our immune functions are improved actually by 40% when we increase our body temperature by just one degree. So you can see the impact what one degree will do. We'll be able to fight off a large portion of cancer with just this effect alone. You know, natural forces like immune functions are very important in the course of cancer treatment and will have a significant effect on the treatment outcomes. Uh, when the body cools down, the blood vessels will contract and the sympathetic nerves will then be excited. And when the sympathetic nervous system is excited, you have something that's called uh, granulocytes, and they will be excreted and promote that inflammatory process. And inflammation always precedes cancer. So pretty much a majority of our diseases, our, our chronic diseases, are, you have an underlying factor of inflammation. So by cooling down the body, inflammation increases and we're more prone to all chronic diseases. So that's how important then our body temperature are. 